During launch, the spacecraft would be sitting on top of the Saturn V booster, filled with over 3,000 tons of highly explosive fuel. So the engineers designed a sort of ejector seat for the whole command module in case anything went wrong. The launch escape tower was a rocket at the front of the command module that would pull the command module away from the booster if there were a problem with the booster. The system would be triggered by three wires that ran down the entire length of the Saturn V booster. If we would lose power on two out of three wires, that, that signified that the booster is falling apart and we would just get off. In November 1965, the North American engineering team gathered to witness another make-or-break test. A rocket called Little Joe was to be used to test the launch escape system. The idea was to launch it up to about 10,000 feet, then fire the escape rocket to pull the command module away from the, from the other device. Run. Fire. This time, they had made a little mistake in how they hooked up the roll gyros. And the vehicle started to roll. When it broke, it broke the link on the escape rocket. The escape rocket fired. Pulled the command module right off the top. And it was a perfectly successful flight, very well instrumented flight. Gave us all the data we needed about the launch escape system, but the vehicle had failed in the process. Ironically, the unanticipated failure of the Little Joe rocket provided the best possible test for the escape system, and it had performed perfectly. <laughs> 